my goodness. That's so funny. Tilly's still working on that watermelon. Tilly! Oh, here come the chickens. They see me walk over here and then they think I'm gonna drop something for them. Today I put out a bunch of old popcorn from last night and I threw out that watermelon. You ladies like when I throw stuff, huh? I threw this watermelon out here about an hour ago. And look how they've completely pecked that out. Isn't that nuts? Okay guys, the moment has arrived. Let's check and see if we see any aphids. Now I'm gonna check on the side that there really weren't any aphids because I really should check every day. You know, it's funny because I do sometimes see like a few here and there. See, look, I see some under there. So, I think they're all over this plant. You know, it kind of makes sense. You know, when you hear about that cantaloupe is one of the most sprayed fruit, I kind of I kind of understand why. It's weird, you know, they don't come over to my watermelon at all. Look at that little baby watermelon. You see that? Look how cute. They don't, they're just like obsessed with the cantaloupe here. Stupid aphids, man. Ooh, let's see how my little thing of water did. So I read that you were supposed to put out yellow tinged water with soap in it and it attracted the aphids and then they would come in and they would, they would die. So far has not really worked. I see like one tiny little bug floating in there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just keep spraying it every night. You know, I don't want to spray it during the day because things will get burned. So I'll spray every night. And hope. Let's see, let me collect some of these tomatoes. I still haven't covered the tomatoes because I hate bird netting, but look, they eat them. So not a huge tomato harvest this year, just little ones here and there because a lot of them get eaten by the birds. You know what bugs me about it? It's like, if you're gonna eat it, just eat the whole thing. Don't just eat five pecks, come on now. I'm happy to let you eat some. Just eat the whole thing. It's like a little kid, you know? Oh my goodness. So cute. You waking up? Oh, he's so cute. So uh, we told Ethan right here that he could watch as much YouTube as he wanted as long as he rode <laughs> the whole time. He's been rowing for like two hours. <laughs> so it totally works. You having fun? Yeah. Your legs and arms burning yet? Surprisingly, no. Huh. Maybe you need to increase the resistance. Maybe. What are you guys doing in here? We're putting nice. we're doing nice. the water. Nice. Look what I got in the mail. I got this really cool. I think it goes like this. Yeah. Farm looking light. And it's actually a total mistake because I thought it was a lot smaller than this and I was gonna put it in my hall, but it's massive. So I'm gonna put it instead out here on the front porch. And before I do that, I need to get my little pruning things. Where are they? 
right here. These cool ones Kevin got at some garage sale or side of the road or from a gypsy or I don't know. You know how he is. It's really hot outside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this just a little bit so that I can, you know, show off my light. But also it'll help this hibiscus not have to keep so much energy going. Alright. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna water it. I'm gonna stick my cool light out there. Up there. You think I can do it myself? Huh. You're supposed to like turn off the uh, electricity, right? <laughs> that's like the extent of how I know how to install something. Just turn off the electricity, figure out the rest later on. Sounds good to me. One thing I do know is that goats can have hibiscus leaves, so I'm gonna go ahead and give them to the goats. Let's see how they like them, okay? They have thorns on them, so if I were a goat, I wouldn't want to eat it. We're gonna give them, the, no, I'm gonna save these. I'm trying to save these and dry them up and so I can make a tea. Just goaties. I got you something good. Even the duck is here. This is an exciting moment for everybody. Here you go. I'm just gonna put it down and see what you do with it. No? Yes. They like it. Duck likes it too. Everybody's happy. Tilly likes it. Penny likes it. Should we do like a slow-mo of Luna eating? Man, Luna, you ate almost all of it. Geez, save some for everybody. You know, I love having chickens and goats and all that stuff, but when you step on a chicken poo barefoot and it goes in between your toes, you really rethink this whole farm thing. Am I right, farm people? Maybe you shouldn't do this in like a <laughs> flip-flop situation. Can you pick it up? We gotta take, make like a clear line. So we gotta pick up the rocks all along here and put them back closer up there, the ones that are in the grass. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's determined. Get it. She got it. Come on. Luna, you gotta go around. No, don't push it. Gotta go around. <laughs> go around, I'm opening it. See, look, you can come in. Come on. Oh my gosh. Uh. Yeah, all she does is want to rub up against me. No. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. She won't leave me alone. Okay, it's the end of a long day. Just like any other day. They're always long. Lydia's doing the chores. Oh, you caught a bird. He's tired. He's been in here all day. Yeah. I saw him early this morning. Did you try to give him water? I did. He drank a little bit. Okay, He's let really him go. He's really tired. So lucky. He just hold him. Oh, he, he doesn't. Do oh. Let's wash your hands really good before you milk. Okay. Go. Okay, go. Go, Penny, go. Stay there. Go up and go. Up. No, wrong hole. Wrong hole. Up higher. Right here. There you go. Wow, she's hungry. Hey, wait, stop. 
You always forget one thing. Don't, don't squirt it that way. <laughs> I don't want it on my nice deck. My fancy pallet deck. Fancy schmancy. Oh look, there's a chicken who's trying to get in right now. Oh, you already locked it? Yeah, sorry. Okay, I'll go open it. Stay goats. Uh oh, Lydia closed up shop before this chicken could get in. Watch, let's open it up. And then let's go chase him back around. Gotta go back around. I know, but he's gonna go full circle. Keep going. Keep going. All right. I'm gonna lock them up for the night so they don't get killed. How are you doing today, chicken? Huh? What's your day been like today? See, everybody always asks if Luna's pregnant, but she just has a big, saggy belly. Uh, so, we normally milk uh, morning and nights, but there is a way to go down from like twice a day milking to once a day milking. You basically just like start milking less, and then you eventually are just milking once a day. And basically how it works with goats, is that their milk when they're first, you know, right after they have their babies, that's when they are milking the most. And then their milk slowly goes down throughout the year. And then the problem is, is like, we have to figure out how much milk we need for the rest of the year. So with our goats, like how much are we getting a day? A half a gallon, probably. So if we drop down to once a day, we'd probably get like half that which we can do that when we have, we know we're gonna have other milk fairly soon, but since our next milk would be Doris and Mabel, who would have their babies, they're getting bred now, right? So they're gonna have their babies in November. Then we have to just make sure that we don't go down to once a day milking until like September or something like that. Oh, the sun is setting. That's the end of our day. So I hope you all had a great day and you were able to get a lot done. And even if you don't milk goats, you're still really cool. So eventually you'll get goats though, right? Eventually. Hey. Hi, uh, we're doing a scorpion hunting business and we'll do your front and backyard for $10. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 10 bucks, we'll get be, all my scorpions. Okay, we'll okay. be back between nine and 9.30. Okay. Do you wanna, so do you wanna just ring the doorbell when you're done and then I'll, yeah. I'll pay you yeah. then? Okay. Okay, thank All you. All right, thank see you later. later. Bye guys. They're gonna kill our scorpions for only $10. <laughs> Should I have talked him down? <laughs> our kids will do it for one. <laughs> our kids will do it for free, so. Oh, but they're trying to do a business. Yeah. Gotta support local business. Yeah. Give them a $10 quarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean to give somebody quarters. Would you like to be paid in quarters, Kevin? Uh, the guy's already done. Out. Oh, you're gonna start. Kay. Okay. All right. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Have fun. There's okay. some scary goats back there, though. That's okay. Okay.